Hi, welcome to this video about the new five-a-day workbooks. The five-a-days are a really important, a really popular part of the website, and the idea behind them is there are worksheets or questions from, five questions, from the January the 1st through to December the 31st. And the worksheets, these five-a-days, give students the opportunity to practice their maths every single day for five or ten minutes. And it uses that little and often approach, so rather than cramming for an exam, it's much better to do some maths every single day, and that helps students build their confidence, and it also help them come back to topics frequently that they've learned in class, so help, uh, hopefully helping them not forget topics that they have learned previously. So the five days, as I said, they go from January the 1st through to December the 31st, and there's different levels of difficulty. There's the numeracy five days, there's the foundation five days, there's the foundation plus, the higher and the higher plus. They're the five main secondary school five days on the website. There's also primary five days and level two forever miles five days, and I'm gonna be making books for those in the future, hopefully. But at the minute I'm making the 10 books to cover those five levels of difficulty for secondary, go from numeracy up to higher plus. And there's two books per level of difficulty. So starting off with the numeracy, we have got numeracy book one, and it goes from January through to June. So that's January the 1st through to June the 30th. There's also February the 29th there, so the pews are covered. And we have got all the five days in there in this A4 book. So it goes, starts off with January the 1st, and there's the five days on A4, so they can be completed in the book, and they go through all the way through to June the 30th. And there's also, at the very end, there's some extra pages for any extra working out which may need to be done, and most importantly, there's answers at the end. So the students or teachers can quickly check the answers and make sure that they have been done correctly. So that's the Numeracy 1 book. There's also the Numeracy book 2, which goes from the 1st of July through to December the 31st. So there's those two books. And um, rather than doing one big, big, big book, I've decided to split it over two books just to make it more manageable for students for going into their school bags or to be used at home. So that's the numeracy book one and book two. It's in red, then in orange, then there is the foundation books. We've got the foundation book one, again, go from January the 1st through to June the 30th. We have the foundation book two, which goes from July the 1st through to December the 31st. So they are in orange. So we have red, numeracy, orange, we then have the foundation. In yellow, we will have the foundation plus, they're gonna be coming out in October the 26th. Then we have in green, the higher, they're coming out at the end of November. And then at the end of December, we'll have the higher plus in blue. So we have those sort of progression in terms of the colors of the rainbow, but it'll let you know as a teacher, which level of difficulty students are working on. Level of difficulty, first of all, we have got the numeracy five-a-day workbook. The numeracy five-a-day workbook covers all the basics. So it covers your operations, your fractions, decimals, basic percentages, money questions, time questions. It has squaring, square rooting, order of operations, perimeter, basic area, basic angles. I'm not gonna go through all of them now, <laughs> uh, but we have got all those sort of basics. It's perfect for key stage three students or some students are in key stage four. I used to give it to some of my year 11s who you know, find GCSE quite challenging, um, but it's sort of that, that book covering the basics is it's quite useful. So the numeracy book, it's perfect for key stage three students, tutor time, and some key stage four students will find it useful as well. Next in orange, we have got the foundation five a day book. And the foundation five a day book, it's gonna be useful to anyone preparing for GCSE foundation maths. It covers the core of the foundation topics. So it's gonna cover anything from sort of expanded brackets to parts of the circle, pie charts, medians, means, averages, things like that, the range, drawing linear graphs, volumes of prisms. So it's gonna be a really important book for anyone preparing for the GCSE foundation maths papers. So that's the foundation book. Then in yellow, we've had the foundation plus. They cover the harder topics on the foundation paper, things like your trigonometry, standard form, tree diagrams, error intervals, things like that. And um, that foundation plus version is also useful for any students aiming for sort of grade four or five, and even some aiming for grade six, where it covers that sort of the harder stuff on the foundation paper, which may also be some of the easier stuff on the higher paper. We'll then have the higher workbook, which is the core of that higher paper, which are aiming for students, aiming for, uh, which is aimed at students, broadly aiming for grades six and seven. And then there's the higher plus workbook, which is a challenging workbook and it's aimed at those students who are aiming for grades eight and nine. 
Five a days. Now, in terms of the five a days, one of the great things that I really love about them is there's something for everybody. Whenever I was teaching my classes in the past, I would have had you know, the majority of the students doing one version of the five a days, but then I would have some extensions five a days for some other students, and some other students I would suddenly give a consolidation version to. But everyone in the class was doing a five a day, so you know th there was really something for everybody, and that's one of the things which is great about them. Now, the next thing is why did I create the workbooks? Now, in terms of the website. Um, I often make things that people want me to make and put on there, such as the level two level mouse resources. In the future, in the future, a year or two's time, the BS resources going on. Um, quite a lot of the textbook exercises, again, that came from a request from you know the teachers who have said the practice questions are perfect for homework, but I would maybe like something a bit more photocopier friendly for you know lessons, and that's where the textbook exercises came from. So some teachers asked me if I could turn the five a days into workbooks, so that's what I've done. Now, in terms of the workbooks, why would they be useful? So uh, the five a days on the website, they're free and they'll always be free and all the resources on the website will be free without having to log in or subscribe or anything like that. But the physical products, they do have a small cost because obviously, you know, to, to make it and the small profit goes towards keeping the website free. So that's, you know, one benefit of buying them. Um, but the other benefit in terms of these five a day workbooks are, well, there's lots of benefits, but number one is the fact that um, I used to spend a lot of my time at the photocopier and I used to you know, print out those five days and have to do it and spend the time there you know, doing that. Um, so I used to find it, it, sort of, it was a big time investment, even for producing any resources for lessons. The fact that you would have a five a day for every single lesson over a six month period would be fantastic with extra ones for homework or revision as well. So depending on how you wanted to use the five a days. Um, also money, I used to use a lot of the departmental photocopying budget, you know, I sort of the producing five days or anything at all. The fact that it's a six months worth of miles for four pound fifty, I think you know, for you know as little as four pound fifty, is you know fantastic value for money for free shipping. Um, also, um, in terms of the students, my students used to stick their five days of worksheets into their books, and that used to take time, money, or it's time, glue, <laughs> money, and it used to take sort of a lot of um, effort. You know, them having to stick them in. Sometimes they would get lost. Things like that. Well, we having them all in one location means it's you know the students can flip through, they can go back, check their answers. It's just a much more sort of durable way of storing and keeping the five a days, um, and also they'd be perfect for home for revision at home instead. You know the parents could support their learning, home learning as well. But the you know parents could support their learning. You know there's an activity for every single day of the year. The answers there. I think it's just a great way of organizing and keeping the five a days. Um, but yeah, so that's the five a days. Um, the, the workbooks are available on the website. They can, you know, parents can buy them individually. You know, they can be bought individually um, for, I think, five ninety nine plus postage and packaging. Um, or they can be bought as twin packs or a whole year, or, you know, there's, there's school order form as well. But in terms of the five-a-day booklets, um, I think they're gonna be really useful. Um, as I said, there's five different levels of difficulty. The numeracy and the foundation are available now. The foundation plus can be ready at the end of October, higher at the end of November and the higher plus at the end of December. Once that's done, I am looking at hopefully going on to the primary workbooks as well. Um, but then there's lots more I wanna do on the website as well. So of the AS material, looking at the, maybe finishing those textbook exercises. There's a few gaps towards the end of the alphabet. So I need to finish those off. I wanna combine them as freely downloadable textbooks as well. I know I've been saying that for a while, but at some point, once this is done, then I wanna get on with that as well. But but yeah, so there are the, the numeracy, are the, the numeracy five-a-day workbooks, the foundation five-a-day workbooks, and um, I hope, foundation, I hope you'll find those useful.